Okay, hello everyone, this is Mr. Rob Ronan here again, and today we have received our Daki trailer that we've been dying for. I've watched through it once myself, and I can say there were some exciting things, a few disappointing things, but I'm still overall really, really excited to try out this character. She seems pretty damn fun. Let's just watch through it once at a normal speed together, and then I'll slow it down and we'll check out all the individual little things that we get to see in this trailer. She is slightly different than I thought she would be based on the few screenshots we got, but she seems like definitely the spacer character. Not necessarily Zona, just uh, long range buttons. Like that, that armor attack is probably the coolest thing in this trailer for me. But obviously all of her like animations and model design all look amazing. I'm impressed at managing to pump out all these characters so quickly after having such a long break. But yeah, she looks awesome, which of course we were expecting, but uh, yeah, let's look at the actual moves we get to see. So I'll put it a little slow. Hopefully this doesn't break your ears. <laughs> okay, so first we get to see the little attacks. And as you can see there, she's kind of got um what I would probably call Enmu range. She's got lengthy buttons, but not with the swords. Which is kind of good, and that's one of the things that makes Enmu pretty strong, is that he can reach really far with his attacks um, without having to lunge forward with his sword, so he can kind of attack from a distance. But also, his attacks aren't projectiles, so that they can come out a little quicker. So, makes for some pretty good spacing. What was the first attack we get to see here? Because that's the main one that matters. So, yeah, if you look at that range, a single attack is about, like, three or four character distances. That is pretty good. Most swordsman attacks would probably end around like here. So she gets like an extra half of a sword attack which on her first attack, which is pretty good. And this isn't even the step attack. I'm not sure if she will have one. You know when you have the, the tilt and she like takes a step forward and goes further? If she did that, it'd probably go like over to like this edge of the screen with the extra step forward. So that's really, really powerful. And all the attacks afterwards are also really, really long, which is handy. Well, especially this one. That is really, really far. I wonder how good the tracking is, so if, wonder if you just throw out those buttons, like, even if they're whiffing, you can just keep, like, pressing them and see if they happen to hit the opponent. Because you can jump cancel or sidestep cancel them if they, you're about to get punished. Then we get to see the down combo ender. I think that's actually one of the screenshots we saw. Yeah, her in the air, so that's the, just the down combo. And then here we have a really interesting sequence where she spends a bunch of meter, and it's kind of hard to tell exactly what she's spending it for. So, we get to see, she's like done this kind of projectile floor summon special move, which we don't really see the um, meter cost for, so maybe it, we don't get to see how long ago she's actually done this, because her little, you know, how you get the glow when you do a special move, like she's going to get right here when she presses the special move, so she doesn't even have that anymore, and that usually that lasts for about a second. So maybe this is a special move that she like, does and it has like a three second delay and it appears underneath the opponent or maybe it's some kind of trap that like like Urokodaki's trap but like it's just invisible or something I don't know I'm intrigued because as you can see it starts to come out of the floor underneath Nezuko but there isn't anything there beforehand so maybe it is just something she presses and you wait five seconds and it'll just hit the opponent I'm not sure but she's just standing there doing nothing and then this you know meter of um comes out of the floor, and then she goes for another special move as it's launching Nezuko into the air, which is a special move we get to see later, but she kind of just lunges forwards, does a few hits with her scarves, and then cancels it into another special move, which is just kind of a few hits and a launch away, so it kind of reminds me of a few like combo and uh, special moves we've seen, kind of like um, entertainment. Uh, Zenitsu and Tanjiro, their neutral specials are just like, you know, a few hits and they launch the opponent away, so maybe that's just what this is. It'll be like decently damaging special move, and she can dash cancel if she likes. This is a cool grab animation, I like that. <laughs> now this is awesome. Look at this armored special move. She's got the same animation basically she uses as her ultimate in her regular armored special, uh, armored attack which is crazy. I imagine it's going to be pretty slow. You can't really tell how slow it really is here because she's already kind of started it up. But she's armored very early, so 
the opponent has to like fight for their lives to dodge this massive ass armor attack. Look at that coverage, that is ridiculous, and it looks like it bounces the opponent. So she can probably dash cancel this, get an aerial combo, get some high ass damage for a little red combo, which is ridiculous for how big this thing is. And it really just depends on some of its attributes, like can it be dash cancelled, can it be dash cancelled on block? Um, can it be special cancelled if you can just go into other special moves from it? It looks ridiculous. I cannot wait to mash this button. And it looks so awesome. This is her up combo, I think. Um, I'm not sure if this is what we saw in the trailer. No, she had a special special aura in the screenshots we saw before. So this is just an up combo. Dash cancel into her aerial attack string. Which is kind of just, you know, average two hits. Cool surge animation. This isn't- oh, yeah, this will be the boosted combo ender. Now, this is what made me really sad, is I realized I was an idiot when I was looking at the screenshots, and that this is clearly too cinematic to be a regular <laughs> attack. It's just her, her combo ender in boost mode. That makes me so sad. I was so excited she'd have this massive screen control orb that, like, is maybe really minus or something, but you can, like, catch the opponent trying to do something in neutral. Nah, it's, it's just an animation. I should have expected that. I don't know why I thought... <laughs> I got so excited for something for no reason. Very sad, but it still looks cool, I suppose. So this is a special move we saw before, but now she's doing it in boosted mode. And she actually does the same thing. She does the special move and cancels it into the... What I assume is her neutral special. So, yeah, she is, like, over here. She kind of just lunges forward, spins around with her scarves... It hits the opponent a few times, kind of like Tengen's tilt special, and then goes into what I assume is a neutral special, where it just hits the opponent a few times, puts them in the air. Now, now we've got guard special, which is really, really cool as well. All of her armored and invincible attacks are badass as hell. I'm just going to be invincible and armored the entire time I'm playing with her. Look at this. Jumps up in the air, has like all these massive like spider strikes from above, and she's invincible for a long time while she's in the air. But um, to make up for it, it does seem like it has kind of slow invincible startup. So this is probably about, um, judging by the the like the flash, that's probably like the second or fourth frame. So that's like two, four, six, eight, ten. So maybe ten frames of startup. So it's not something you'll be able to mash too easily in a block string. Um, but she's invincible for a long time, and she's really high in the air. I wonder how punishable it is, and you can't really see, but it looks like Nezuko is either not knocked down, which would be really interesting. We've never had a, um, DP that doesn't knock the opponent down. She's either knocked not just standing, or maybe in some kind of crumple state for a hard knockdown, so... That's pretty good if she gets some, some time to move away after she gets her DP. And these are just regular attacks, I think. Yeah. And then into the ultimate. And sorry to the trailer person, but uh, that did not combo. <laughs> and then we've got the awesome ultimate animation. So, let's quickly recap the things we've seen. So I think we got to see all of her special moves, actually. So, regular attacks. Let's skip to the, the juicy stuff. Yeah. So, attack strings. I think this is probably her tilt demon skill, because it kind of reminded me of Rui's um, tilt demon skill too, where it just appears underneath the opponent, but I think hers is probably like a delayed attack, which will be pretty cool. Then she's got tilt special, probably, where she just lunges at the opponent. Um, neutral special, where it just does a few hits right in front of her. And regular armor attack. Oh, wait a second. Maybe I'm an absolute idiot. Maybe this is actually one of her demon skills as well. That would make a lot more sense if this is an armored demon skill, like Susumaru and Yahaba. And, oh my god, okay, yeah. Mo basically every demon has a tilt demon skill that's armored. This is probably a tilt demon skill. <laughs> that makes a lot more sense than a regular armor attack, because that would just seem ridiculous. So that's both demon skills, um, tilt special and neutral special, and then over here we got to see her 
DP. Her guard special. So I think this is one trailer where we basically got to see her entire moveset. We didn't get to see her using all of the moves, like we didn't get to see the startup of one of her demon skills where it gets the the weird launcher setup thing. So I'm intrigued. That's the like one mystery I think we have left, uh, left and I'm really, really interested to see how that actually works. But the rest I think is pretty self-explanatory. She's she's the like the neutral big spacing big buttons character. Like Actually, I guess we don't really have too many of those in this game. I think the closest character would be Enmu, because he's got the big, like, meat buttons that kind of work slightly different to sword characters, but they're not technically projectiles, and it seems like she might even have some longer range than him with her further attacks in her attack string, so I'm really, really interested to see how that goes. And then she's got some Tengen tilt specials where she lunges at the opponent, um, and a regular um, special, some kind of setup-y things, and some massive demon skills. So, yeah, definitely a space control character, and definitely looks like a blast. I, if you don't know, I love neutral heavy characters, or big button characters. Not necessarily zoning characters, but like Vanguard and DNF Duel, characters with big buttons where you just have to choose the right big button to press at the time. I love it. I love these kind of characters. But uh, yeah, she's going to be coming out in like, what, three days? Can't wait. This was, I think, one of the best trailers we've seen, because we actually got to see all of the special moves and figure out which ones are which. And now there's just a little bit of mystery as to how each of them actually works. So, that is Daki's trailer. I am so excited to play her, and I'll see you in a few days when that comes out. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you there. Bye-bye.